Peter, where's my wife? She's just showering off. Listen here, you son of a bitch! I know what I did, and I regret it every single day of my life. Oh, Richard. You were always one to overreact. Peter, thank you for waiting while I... Richard! It's positive. Don't look at me, Richard. You know I'm infertile. Oh, God! What is going on? What's that? Who is this? Oh. Etc. Etc. Oh, my God. Oh, no. No. Oh, no. my. Oh, no. God. Silver Honda Civic. The worst part was. It was. Pamela! Let's go! Pamela! Let's go! Pamela! What are you doing here, Pamela? The phone lines are down, and I'm just visiting with your doctor. And I have a message for you, Maria. What? Your. Pregnant. But what? But the how? But Maria, do you know? Am I the father? Am I the popsicle? You could say that. Why are you leaving them alone? Why can't you just tell them the truth? Have you ever tried to tell your husband that your infertile body is pregnant with twins and only one of them is his? Maria! Before you make your announcement, I think I should tell you. I've been cheating on you. With a man. My God! That's enough! What are you even doing here, Pamela? Isn't it obvious, Richard? No. I came here. Cute. What did I ever do to you, Pamela? Isn't it obvious, Richard? No. I may not be the woman you think I am, but I am wearing her thing. <laughs> Marty! Could that be you, my daughter? Yes, Papa. It's me. Papa, you haven't called me that since... Since... Got one thing. And guess what, Margie? You're next. I can't believe I just did that. Get a hold of yourself, Myrtle. Come on. I think I need a drink. Richard, can I get you something to drink? Yes. Something strong. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Mm, yes. Here you go. Thank you, Myrtle. No problem. Well, Richard, I think I'm gonna go home. I only had one drink. Drive home safely, Myrtle. I will.
Lance, what is it? It's my brother. Here you go, tell me. What year is this? 2008. Ooh. Last. <sighs> tell me, can I get you a refill? Oh, no thanks, I'm just gonna work it out. He's drunk, Blanche. I'm not gonna let my brother die. Not on my watch. Not again. <laughs> Richard, why have you come? What are you doing here? It's a long story. We have time. <laughs> Thank you. <clears throat> Richard, what are you doing here? Why have you come? It's a long story. We have time. I just could not believe that I caught them together. I mean, Peter, my best friend? I'm so sorry, Richard. I know. Call me territorial, but I don't think it's all right for my wife to be canoodling with other men behind my back. You're I'm territorial. But just as I was confronting Maria about sleeping with him... Myrtle burst through the door. She had hit someone with her car. Who? Pamela! No! She had come to kill me. But Richard, it couldn't have been Pamela because she... Well, I don't know how to say this. You might want to sit down for this. Richard. Do you remember two years ago when we told you that Aunt Pamela went to live at the same farm that Snuggles lives at? My bunny! Yes, we lied. They're both dead. They can't be! But they are, like, super dead. But how? Isn't it obvious, Richard? On that fateful night, when she was visiting her ailing godchild in Nebraska, her plane crashed. In a blizzard. What? Richard. The pilot fell asleep at the wheel. What about the co-pilot? Co-pilot? More like... No pilot. And that's how she died. No, she was found living in the caves in the Appalachian Mountains. So we can go find her? No, she's dead. The bear colony she was living with turned on her one night. Oh, my God. And then she got into a car accident. Heavens. Heavens? Help! Maria. Maria. Are you okay? Don't act like you care. What? I know who you really are. And who might that be? The man I'm about to kill. Ha ha ha!
My husband will kill you if he ever... God. Oh my God. I didn't know you were... Pregnant. I'll take you to the hospital. I'm at my sister's house. Blanche's. I, I can't hear you. Just static. Richard? I don't know if you can hear this. But Maria's gone into labor. I was so upset about last night that I came to my sister Blanche's. I love you, Richard. Please, come out here, Marty. I'll make my way, Richard. It's Christmas Eve. I love you. <laughs> you know what? It's Christmas Eve. I think we should celebrate. What? Christmas is about being with your family. And we're a family, though we haven't seen each other at far too long. We have dinner in the oven. We can make a third meal out of it. Well, if you guys really don't mind. <laughs> Who's that? Santa Claus! I'll get it. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Maria, it's been a while. And I don't believe I've had the pleasure. Tell me. Victor. Please come in. Maria, if you want to join Richard and Blanche in the dining room, Tony and I will get a wine from the cellar. Maria! Richard! Where's my baby, Maria? Where's my child? They were twins, Richard. They had to keep them overnight. They're sending them to us in the morning. Well, what kind are they? We have two sons. One I named after his daddy, Richard. Oh, I love it. And the other, Tyrone. Also good. Blanche, Maria and her boyfriend will be joining us for dinner. This is Tony. What are you doing here, in my home, and on Christmas? Toby. Shucks, Bob. You ugly ginger. Why do you think I did you tonight? Don't you call her an ugly ginger! I knew I'd find you here, Blanche. Don't you call her, Blanche! It doesn't really apply here, Helen. Blanche, who is the span? I don't know, Victor. Do you want the quick story or the juicy story? How we made love on your business trip to Chicago. Or should I show him the tape? Don't show him that. I was doing laundry. I'm in granny panties. Edible granny panties. Enough! I would like you to leave this house immediately. But he's my daddy. But you're my wife. Enough! I will let you stay here, because it is Christmas. And after dinner, you will leave. Maria, after dessert, you will leave. No one cheats on my brother and gets away with it. Blanche, we'll talk about this later. We will celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ. And we will celebrate the family we have, no matter how stupid and slutty they are. 
Flash. Richard. Maria. Merry Christmas. <laughs> person that did this didn't just take away a beautiful lady. They took away a woman with a heart as big as her drinking problem. They took away my sister and that's somebody who just can't be replaced. But I know something that will fill the void. I will find whoever did this and destroy them. Can you believe that it has been six months since we lost Myrtle and they still don't know who did it? Richard, not this again. People should not be able to get away with things like this. It was a random crime, Richard. You just need to accept it. Maybe I'll accept it when you start accepting that Victor left you for another man. Richard! Stop it! What, Blanche? I'm not allowed to mope over the loss of someone I loved? At least your person is still out there somewhere. Myrtle is dead. Victor just didn't want to deal with you anymore. Richard, I, I'm... Don't worry about it. You just worry me sometimes. It was weeks after the funeral before you left your home. Look, we both need to move on. I sold my house. You did? Yes. Too many bad memories there. So, where are you living? I've purchased a small condo in the suburbs. Richard, that's great. <laughs>
Underwood? It's been a long time. It has indeed. It's good to hear your voice. Now, I know you're not going to like this, but I need you to come down to the station. There's something you need to see. Oh my god! Oh no. Uh... I, I, I just be. Uh, I I had an appointment and it completely slipped my mind. I, I'm sorry to keep you out like this. Oh, it's okay. Uh, you know it, this is very important. It's really rude of me, really. Uh, I'm just really sorry. Uh, <laughs> Richard. Maria. What are you doing here, Maria? I could ask you the same thing, Richard. Considering you're standing in my house. What? Richard, I know I should have told you, but you would have never understood. Maria was homeless. She had nowhere to go. Uh, my sister? Taking in the woman I hate most? Richard, call me crazy, but... You are crazy, but... I trusted you. Richard, why must you hate me? I have to hate you. So that I can find a way to love you. So you went from chess club president to sheriff, huh? Well, did I leave town for a few years, or did you jump to an alternate dimension? Crystal, I... Wow. What? It, it's just, it's, it's good to see you. You look good. You too. I often think of our time together. Me too. Homecoming, prom, your 18th birthday party. The night you took my virginity behind the old mill house? I hardly think this is why you called me down here. Uh, you're right, but in any case, welcome home. I haven't lived here for ten years. I hardly call it home. Home is where your heart is. Between my legs? No. Why did you call me down here? You may want to sit down for this. I found a man in our database that matched the description of the man you saw at Myrtle's funeral. You did? Long, dark hair. Mustache. So where is he? Do, do you have him? As a matter of fact, we do. He's dead. Oh my god. The bodies of Mr. Lopez and his daughter, Margie, were found abandoned in a state park not far from here. Oh my god. That's not the worst part. According to reports, Mr. Lopez and his daughter were murdered on the same night as your sister. In fact, hours before. But that makes no sense! Neither does this. We've got both their bodies downtown at the morgue. But if this man was dead, how could he have killed my sister? That's what we need to find out. You can't worry about my relationship with my brother, Maria. The fact of the matter is, is that he loved you for a very long time. Oh, I have to take this. Make yourself comfortable.
Arthur didn't leave Blanche. Blanche killed him! What are you doing out here? Hold it, please! Hold the elevator! Sounds like my first marriage. <laughs> now we've only got enough oxygen to last us five hours. We have to conserve it. Underwood, Underwood! We're fine, we have vents. Oh, yeah. What are you doing out here? You told me he left you. I couldn't let him leave me. I couldn't stand the thought of being alone. I'm calling the police. One good reason why I shouldn't kill you right now. I'm pregnant. I think we should take this as a sign that we're supposed to be together. Uh, don't you think? Well, sometimes that... you have to stop thinking with your brain and start thinking with your heart. But what about the mission? I'm on a mission of my own. Will you marry me? Uh-oh, I think we're running out of some oxygen in here. Maybe we should try to conserve it. It's working! Come on, what do you have to say anyway? Please, don't kill me! Oh, I'm not going to kill you. But how can I be sure that you will never tell anyone what you saw out there? I, I have money! I don't want your money. I want your word. I want your baby. Have a good night, you two. Night! Good night. Change your mind. So I'm calling you tomorrow. I mean, I thought you were doing just set the date and all. I love you, Crystal. Sir, sir, I'm so sorry. What is it, Deputy? Something has gone wrong down the street at the morgue. What is it? What could it be? A body has gone missing. What? Prime murder suspect. Oh my God! When you left, now I know. Yes, it worked. It He's on his way. Who are you talking to? Bring it on Son of a bitch. Please.